Hey guys, Gino Zero, how you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land. <laughs> Whatever part of the world that you are in. Okay, I made a video about 10 years ago about making my absolute favorite treat for the holidays or just for whenever. And I say that anybody who has watched that video and tried to make these would agree that it is the greatest treat in the history of the world. <laughs> oh yeah! So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need one cup of peanut butter, one cup of light corn syrup, like a Cairo type syrup, or any other type of a light corn syrup. Could be Cairo if you like Cairo, Cairo syrup. You're going to need one cup of just regular old white granulated sugar, like this. Six cups of Rice Krispies. You need a big stock pot, so where you can work it in. You're going to need a rubber spatula of some sort to work your ingredients. And you're going to need a stout spoon to stir the ingredients because it is going to get sticky and messy, which just means it's extra delicious. You need a 13 by 9 bacon pan like this. You're going to need a non-stick skillet, one bag of butterscotch chips, one bag of milk chocolate chips. Uh, this is a cast iron by the way, and yes, we are going to melt chocolate in this cast iron. This is the one I got from Silver Fire. It's awesome. I'll leave a link to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by putting our big pot onto our stove. We're going to put in one cup of sugar. You know what? Let's have uh, our wonderful camera operator stop for a second, come right here and get a better position where you can see what I'm doing. So let's make that happen. We'll see you right now. All right, just like that, we are whipped into shape here. We're going to put one cup of sugar in here, a whole cup, man. I did not say these were good for you. I just said they are really, really good. And uh, you will definitely need to require a cup of milk after this is done and you eat one because you're going to need it. So we got our one cup of sugar in here. We're going to go ahead and turn this on medium low heat. Okay, what we're looking for with this sugar combination, this is just pretty much liquid sugar. We're going to let this dissolve and melt down. We're going to go to what they call the softball stage of candies. So a way that you can check that is to have a glass of cold water sitting here next to you. And whenever you get your sugars all dissolved, you can drop a little bit in there and then it'll harden up and you can feel it. If it's soft, it'll be the softball. If it's hard, then it'll be hard. As the, the treats set up and cool off, that's the consistency you want. You want soft, chewy not hard like a peanut brittle or something like that and it is very important that you keep an eye on this because if you let it get too hot you let it get too much boiling going on they will turn into a very hard candy type they're still awesome and delicious but they're a very hard candy uh, rather than being soft and gooey and delicious so mix it all up i've got it on the medium low heat this will take just a little bit of time because there's not a whole lot in here so what we're going to do is we're going to let this dissolve down It'll clear up. First of all, this mixture will turn clear as the sugar dissolves, and then it'll turn a little bit of a milky color, and whenever it turns milky, and you see that first little hint of bubble where it's going to boil, pull it off the heat. So as soon as we get to that stage, I will show you, because this is the part that you don't want to screw around with. You want to get it like off the heat right now and go to the next step. So right now, as you can see, it is not dissolving. So we're going to let this turn clear and then back to the milky color. And as soon as you see that first little hint of a bubble, it's usually going to be right in the center where the heat is. That's when we're going to pull it off. So it'll take us a couple minutes and we'll be right back with you through the magic of video again right now. All right. See, it's just now starting to bubble. So we're going to move it off. It looks like milk. As you're stirring your spatula through there, you shouldn't feel any more of the... Uh, of the sugar. It should all be dissolved and this is the point where if you wanted to check it you can just take a little bit like this on your spatula drop it into some cold water and as it firms up it should give you a pretty good clue uh, of how uh, firm your candy is going to be. Now move it from the heat add in our one cup of peanut butter mm -mm -mm. And we're just going to melt that in. Melting in the peanut butter just until it's melted. Uh 
Yeah, I love the smell of that peanut butter. All right. So now we have the sugar dissolved, the peanut butter melted in, and now we are going to move over to this next spot over here. Set it onto a hot pad. Get rid of this. And we are going to start adding in our Rice Krispies a little bit at a time, stirring them in. This is the part where you're going to need something good and sturdy to stir with because it will get pretty hard to stir. Kids love these so much they do they almost do tricks for them. And whenever little bitty I'd be making them, they would be all in the kitchen, all in my business. Beep 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 beep. Dad, are they ready? Dad, are they ready? But of course, you know, you can't let the children have one until we as responsible parents and responsible adults do a quality poison test on them to make sure that they are in fact edible and they're not dangerous for the kids to eat. We're doing it for the children. It's for the children. All right, so we get them all mixed up like this, okay? See how that looks? Oh man, they smell so, so good. Now we're gonna bring over our 13 by nine inch pan. Let me do this angle here so you can see. Now you gotta be careful because this pan's still gonna be a little hot. And we're gonna start laying this mixture out into our baking pan here. Baking, not bake on. Of course, if you bake your bacon, then it would be a bacon. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just trying to kill some time while I do this. All right, so we've got our mixture in here. And it, like I said, it is gooey and hot, but also delicious. All right, so now we're just going to kind of press it down. I did take this little uh, 13 by 9 inch pan and I gave it a little quick, just a real easy spritz, spritz, spritz of cooking spray uh, to help to keep these from sticking to the bottom uh, of the pan here. So you just want to kind of make them in there, push them in there evenly. Like I said, it is going to be warm, so be careful. Uh, if you use the last of your box of Rice Krispies, feel free to, instead of wearing gloves like I am, just lay that wax paper on there and use that to push down on. Just like that. Just like that. Okay, now we got to set them aside uh, for about a half an hour or so. I mean, it seems like a long time, but we got to let them cool. you got to let them cool before you do the next step. Let them cool, let them set up a little bit. Be patient, it will be rewarded. Because this is coming next. Mm -mm. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay, now for the frosting for these Rice Krispie Treats. That's right, the frosting. You see we have one half of a bag of chocolate chips, one half of a bag of butterscotch chips, you can melt these using a double boiler or something like that, but that's fine. Uh, I don't like to wait that long. I want my Rice Krispie Treats now. So I'm just using my uh, my skillet here. This is a cast iron skillet that I got from Silver Fire. Yes, it is cast iron. I know it's got a different style of handle. This is a, you know, it's a, a, a hollow stainless handle, but the skillet itself is cast iron. I will leave a link. You can check it out. Um, I've used this before in previous videos making other stuff and people are like, well, it's not cast iron. It is. It is a cast iron. And I am melting chocolate in it with nothing to fear because it is a good cast iron and it is properly seasoned and we're not going to have any kind of sticking issues or any of that kind of stuff. So you see how them chips are just melting down smooth. This will not take long. We got it on low heat. I think my burner's on about two and a half. And we're just going to melt these down, stir them together, and man, this makes such an awesome, awesome frosting for those crispy treats. Man, that looks so nice and smooth. Y'all see this? Do you see this? Mmm. This makes a fat guy smile. 
It's probably make a skinny guy smile too. I know it does because my son's pretty skinny and he smiles. All right, this is good. It will continue to melt. So what we're going to do now is take them over here to where our pan of crispy treats are. We're going to drizzle our frosting on here and spread it. And then once we get this on here and spread out, we're going to have to let it set again because this is hot. We need to let it set up just a little bit before we cut them and uh, give it the old poison test here. So we can set that aside now. We're just going to smooth out this frosting. I don't know if it's actually frosting or an icing or a topping or whatever it is that you, uh, that you want to call it. Delicious is what I call it. Nice even layer. Spread them out. We're going to call that good. And then here in a couple of minutes we're going to cut them and give it the poison test. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. That is really, really good, man. But so okay, the frosting isn't poison, but we got to make sure that the actual crispies and stuff themselves aren't poison. So, alrighty, uh, we'll see you here in probably ten minutes. Alrighty, time for the poison test. Man, they're still a uh, gooey. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Those are so good. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I just want to get into eating them. But we got to wait till dessert or something like that. But I'm thinking crispy treats for dinner. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. Um, super easy to make. Super, super delicious. They will be a big old hit with your family and your friends, especially the holiday season. If you'd like to get a Dudeologist of Grubology apron, I'll leave a link in the below in the description. I'll leave a link to the skillet in the description. You guys give it a shot. If I can do it, you can totally do it. Have a great and wonderful rest of the evening. God bless. And the end. Buzz, buzz. The end.